Hello, I'm your host, the Chicken Man with Texas Precision Poultry. I'm here to explain the difference between heritage and commercial poultry. Well, to be considered heritage poultry, at least in North America, and defined by the Livestock Conservancy, the bird must be recognized by the American Poultry Association before the mid-1900s. They must be able to naturally mate, meaning that artificial insemination is not required. And lastly, have slow growth and long productive lifespans. These birds could be considered heirloom or old-fashioned. These breeds typically do not produce as well as commercial birds, yet with proper breeding tactics, they can. Where commercial poultry are what some have termed genetic cesspools, meaning there has been many crosses of breeds and strains to get the bird. The commercial bird is bred for one purpose, such as a commercial single-combed white leghorn produces over 300 eggs a year, yet have absolutely tiny frames when it comes to meat. Another example would be the Cornish Cross Broiler, which can reach market weight in as little as five weeks. These birds are so heavy they have a hard time walking. Yet another example would be the commercial strains of broad-breasted turkeys. These birds are so heavy they cannot naturally mate, and need to be artificially inseminated. I say all these things not to hate on the commercial poultry industry, they do their best to feed the world's growing population. I tell you these things to promote the raising of heritage breeds, a history that must be maintained and bred correctly, so future generations can have these animals, just as productive and as beautiful as they were when the breed was created. That wraps it up. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section. And don't forget to check out our social media accounts. Links are in the description below. Like the video and subscribe. I've been the Chicken Man with Texas Precision Poultry. For now, I bid you farewell and encourage all to keep your hens happy and healthy.